Good evening, Fiji. I'm Lavinia Indiva. Prime Minister Commodore Burengi Manwarama recently opened a $60,000 multi-purpose center in Watulele village on Koro Island. The project was initiated during the Prime Minister's visit to the island last year. The center will be used for village meetings, income generating activities and also as an evacuation center during a natural disaster. <laughs> According to the village headman, Waisake said the hall will be of great help during natural disasters and will be used as an evacuation center. In the Kilbunito, Bunikana Tarni to Wilson, Boletana, Sonango and Lang Tumukos and Ronroni Tamatam to Nalibarurgin, Canacaruna, Via Vagadur and Sona Songo Libunitromco, Kitunun Munisa, Kalilina Wilson to Dubanta Silu, Miss Andoni to Wilson. Fiji Revenue and Customs Authority will be holding public hearings on the rewrite of the Income Tax Decree 2011 from later this week. The public hearings will be held at centres around the country. The income tax project aims to remove archaic language from tax laws and replace them with modern language and terminology. In a newspaper advertisement, FERCA stated that public hearings on the draft Income Tax Decree 2011 and the simplification of the Fiji Income Tax Act had been on the table since 1999, but the Income Tax Bill 30 of 1999 had been shelved. The Income Tax Rewrite Project was reactivated by the International Monetary Fund. The first phase was successfully implemented when the Tax Administration Decree 2009 became law. The reactivating of the project hopes to gather as much views of the public to remove archaic languages and terminology with modern ones. The draft legislation is available on the authorities' website. FERCA is calling for comments from interested parties on the draft legislation. Submissions may either be written or oral. Attorney General Ayai Sayed Kayum has hit out at international media saying that they need to report on facts and provide accuracy and balance in stories. Mr. Sayed Kayum said journalists must be professional and strictly follow media code of ethics and not bring in their personal agenda when reporting. Mr. Sayed Kayum's recent outburst against overseas media, particularly Australia and New Zealand, seems to have some meat. Over the past few years, Australian and New Zealand media have been all but negative about Fiji even though the situation here is very stable unlike other countries. The Attorney General says times may have changed but ethics should remain calling on overseas media companies to play the games by the rules. Uh, yet the ABC seems to be relentlessly pursuing uh, this uh, issue um, so much so that uh, now Tenakun has come up with a particular date or time alleging that uh, you know, individuals, including myself, had said that he should be fired, etc. Um, <coughs> I uh, ended my conversation with uh, Bruce Hill uh, by uh, telling him I didn't want didn't want to give the interview because normally, as professional journalists, and this is what he's always done, he has always uh, rung me up and uh, said I want to talk about X, Y, Z, and we discuss the issue, and then he starts recording. Um, today he just called up and started recording unbeknownst to me and was having a normal conversation. And then I uh, asked him the question, I said, are you recording? He said, yes, I am. I said, well, that's very unprofessional of you. Um, Sayat Kayum says the Fijian government is always willing to talk to the media, but journalists must always be professional. In the news ahead, Operation Senator begins in the capital city and motel owners reminded of their roles and responsibilities. Nisam Bulevinaka. The Ministry of Information is looking for news anchors for its Fiji Today News. The anchors will work with the news team on a daily basis and weekends. If you have a good command of English, can work flexible hours, and think you have what it takes to become a television anchor, then send your CVs to Fiji Focus TV at info.gov.fj or your written applications to Fiji Today Presenter, Box 2225 Government Building, Suba.